In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Zoom recording in your Canvas course and also how to publish that recording anytime you would like. As you can see, I'm inside of a Canvas course here. And from here, I'm going to click on Zoom. And here, I'm going to click on Personal Meeting Room. And here we are in the Personal Meeting Room page. And if we scroll down, we could just click Start This Meeting, and it would just start the meeting. Anyone who happened to see it was there could join. So what we want to do first is edit this meeting. So there are a few different options that you can change here, and I would really recommend setting them one way or the other, depending on what sort of recording you're going for. If you're doing a recording of yourself that you wish to release students at a later date, or if you happen to be holding office hours or discussions, really depending on what you're trying to do is going to change what you do in this edit meeting page. So in this instance, I'm going to be recording a video that I wish to release to students later, so no one else is going to be joining. For that, I would turn off Enable Join Before Host. And then for some extra added security, just in case anyone happens to notice that we are broadcasting in Zoom and wants to join for whatever reason, we could put in a passcode. One, two, three, four, five. And if all I was doing, again, was just recording for myself, I would turn off Enable Join Before Host, I would add a passcode, and then I would click Save. After saving, we're back here at the Personal Meeting Room page. And what we can do now, now that we've set up a passcode, if you forget the passcode, you can always click the Show button, and it will show you what the passcode is. Once this is all set, you could then click Start This Meeting, and it will open up Zoom. As you can see here, I have my video and audio set to automatically mute whenever I enter a meeting. That is something I recommend to all users. So then you have the control over when your voice is heard or when you yourself and your surroundings are seen. Since we're just recording ourselves, I can go ahead and unmute and also start the video. Hello. And now if we wish to share a screen, if we wanted to record this video where we we're going over a PowerPoint or looking at a PDF document, we would click on Share Screen, and then we would choose the screen we wish to share. For here, though, I'm going to just do a face-to-face -face recording. And for something like that, and actually even if you shared a screen, you would click on Record and Record to the Cloud. And you can see, if I move this down, you can see that it is recording. So I can discuss whatever whatever I would like to discuss. I, if I make a mistake, as in a few minutes when we look at the recordings, you will see I have done, I would click, let me move this up, this stop recording button. And it's gonna ask, do you really wanna stop recording? Stop recording. The drawback to recording this in Zoom is you have very simple editing options. You can really have to get it all done in one go. Unless you don't mind um, if it's a more informal video you're, you're recording, then that's fine. If there are some ums or pauses, it's actually great that they kind of see your entire working process. But from here, say we screwed up and we wanted to, or someone walked in the background, something happened, and we want to start the recording again, we would again just click on record, record to the cloud, it's connecting, and then if we, if we can see, we are recording right here. So once you have done everything you wish to do in this recording, you would then stop the recording again, stop recording, and then you would end the meeting. Click end, end meeting for all. And you may not have noticed the pop-up. It said, you will receive an email when the recording is ready. So we will pick this up again once the email has been received. And we're back. So you can see here that it actually only took a few minutes and it said the cloud recordings are now available. And instead of clicking on these items, what I'm actually going to do is to close that email and go back into Zoom. 
And just to be sure I'm getting everything correct, I'm going to refresh this page. Okay. And if you're logging back in, you will most likely show up back in your main page. And so we will go into Zoom. And click on Cloud Recordings. Now it may take several hours for content you've recorded to show up here. So I'm going to switch to a different view to show you some other recordings I've made. And the steps are the same. So if I click into all my Zoom meetings recordings, and then click into Cloud Recordings, when your recording is ready to publish to the students after, after it's been processed behind the scenes, your Cloud Recordings will look something like this. And so you would need to click on the Publish tool. And now once this has been published, this course is the one, excuse me, this video is the one that the students will see. These other videos that haven't been published will be hidden from the student view. And once that's done, when the students log in, they can view this video file. I hope that helps.